Hello crafty friends, welcome to another more bang for your buck circle nesting dies video. Today we are going to make a watermelon using our circle dies, a couple of distress oxides, a green marker and a black marker and then we're going to stick it on a card with a splash of sunshine behind it. So the first thing I want to do is colour this piece of mixed media paper with cracked pistachio distress oxide this is going to be big enough to cut out a big circle from. I'm going to smush this down and I get rid of the hair that seems to be everywhere today. Smush that down onto my glass mat. Spritz it with water and smush my paper down into it. Now I'm not using my smusher for this because all I want to do is colour this in a watercolory a looking amount of cracked pistachio. I'll dry that and then I'll do it again. And now, as I say, I'm going to do it again to intensify the colour a bit. Give that a bit of a mist to soften any harsh marks. So I want a nice, soft, gentle watercolour look. So I'm happy with that. It's all warped and curly, but that's okay. When I die cut from it, it will flatten out nicely. And now I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but with one lipstick. And on this piece of card, which I'm going to cut the middle portion of the melon from. As I did before, I'll do it again. Get a bit of a layered look and intensify the colour. Now I'm going to cut the circles with the circle die. So that one was that one. This one, I only want a ring of green. So I've got two sticky notes here. And I'm going to line up these dies so there's an equal size gap all the way around and cut that like that. So here we have the interior of our melon and the outer green ring of our melon. What I want now is an inner white ring between those two. So I'm going to take the second largest ring, the one that cut the inner edge of the green, and place the circle that I used to cut the red. And now I'm going to cut that out of white cardstock so I get an inner white ring. So I've got my three melon components there. And I'll take this and draw around it on a piece of paper because I need to mount my rings onto something. And what I'm going to do is cut inside the pencil line so it's going to be slightly smaller than the green ring but I can still stick the green ring to it and then everything else will stick to it too. To get everything stuck down you can use double sided adhesive. I'm going to put a thin layer of my PVA high tack glue over that circle and then starting from the outside so that I know everything's going to fit I can pop that on, then the white one, and then the red one. Now I said I was going to use a green marker and that's to give the melon a darker edge to that green ring. And I'm going to use this dot marker, it doesn't have to be a dot marker, it can be any marker. And just angle it, press it up against the edge and gently run round. And do it gently so that you don't accidentally go across like that. There we go, my watermelon has its outer ring. And now I'm going to use a black brush pen. And to create my pips or my seeds, I'm just going to press down like that. When you do that with a firm, a felt tipped brush pen rather than a bristle brush pen, you'll get a little teardrop or seed shape. 
So I'm going to add those different angles, but working my way around the center. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. So now I've got my watermelon. You could use it as a whole on a card like that. You could chop it in half, you could chop it in quarters or even smaller segments. It all depends on what kind of arrangement you want on your card. I'm gonna chop this sort of in half. And I say sort of because I actually want to take a bit out of the middle. As you can see, I've chopped it like that. And now I'm going to put that bit against the back there and that will show me where I want to chop the other one. So both bits of my melon are the same size. So there's my melon and there's the bit I took out the middle. And now if I remove that, arrange that how I want it, I've still got a complete circle, but I can put my sentiment in the middle there, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So my sentiment says, you are one in a melon, which I thought was very cheesy, but my daughter laughed when she read it. So I figured we'll go for it. It's not that I've made it up. I'm sure you've seen that a hundred times. So I printed that in an old fashioned typewriter font and stuck it on a bit of card. And I'm gonna pop that on craft foam when I assemble my card. So my card is going to be five by seven inches and I've got a piece of smooth white cardstock to use as a panel that's about an eighth of an inch smaller all the way around. And this is where I want the melon to sit, slightly above halfway. I'm gonna carefully draw a very faint line around it so I know where it's gonna sit because I want to smush some colour on the background to give the melon something to sit on and to bring in a bit more sunshine. And for sunshine, I'm gonna use squeeze lemonade. And I am gonna use my smusher for this because I want to control where I put my smushing. So give that some water, get my smusher, pick up my paint and smush it on. I'm gonna start Concentrate the colour in the middle and then make sure it splashes out from behind the melon. I'll mop some of that up like that, dry it and then come in with another layer. So that's dry now, it's a bit warped but I'll get it to lie fairly flat and add my next layer of sunshine. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, not add quite so much. And I'm not going to mop it up. I'm just going to dry it like this. So hopefully you'll see multiple layers of yellow. And because sunshine is shiny, we're going to add some pale gold splatters on top of that. find that your bit of card is really warped and you want to flatten it out before you do whatever you're going to do to it next, pop it inside a spare card blank and then run that through your die cutting machine as you normally would, obviously without the die, and that should flatten it out a bit. And that's exactly what I've done with this and it is now a little bit flatter. So we can add it to our card blank. I've added foam tape to the back of everything to give it some dimension. And now I'm gonna add the top half of the melon. And use my T-square ruler to get it straight on there. And in the middle, I'm going to put my sentiment. And there we have a fairly easy, fairly straightforward watermelon pun based, circle based card.
card. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's given you another idea of something to do with your circle dies. You don't have to do melons, there are plenty of round fruit and vegetables that you could do. In fact, if you do a card using circle dies to create some kind of fruit or vegetable based pun card, then do come along to my Facebook group, share the photos there and we can all have a good laugh at not your card, but the pun. <laughs> Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.